Hi, my name is Eloisa Artuño. The purpose of this action research is to determine whether female students have a better grasp of math story problem solving in a small group of the same gender versus a small group of mixed gender students. As an educator, I have observed that in the last two years of teaching mathematics, boys tend to score higher in math unit tests than girls. This has prompted me to find some answers and solutions. The research questions were, will separating female students by gender yield better grasp of math problem solving for both genders? What are my female students' comfort levels in both types of groups? In this study, the single sex group refers to the group composed of only females. And mixed gender group refers to the group consisting of two males and two females. I conducted this action research during a two week period. I met with the single sex group and with the mixed gender groups twice a week for a total of two weeks. Each small group instruction session lasted about 15 minutes. During the first week, the focus of small group instruction was to solve math story problems that involved using addition and or subtraction. During the second week, the focus was to solve math story problems that involved using multiplication. A percentage of correct answers was determined by averaging the number of problems done correctly from each of the groups for the two days we met during that week. At the end of the two-week period, the female students completed a comfort level survey comparing both groups in which they were a part of. According to the data for the first week of small group instruction, the percentage of correct answers out of eight problems for the females in the single sex group was 69%. And for the females in the mixed gender group, it was 75%. That was 6% higher than the females in the single sex group. The boys from the mixed gender group got 87% of the problems correct. For the second week, the data showed that the females from the single sex group got 22% of the problems correct, while the females in the mixed gender group got 25% correct. That is a difference of 3% higher for the girls in the mixed gender group. The boys in the mixed gender group, on the other hand, got 44% of the answers correct. At the end of the two-week period, I gave my female students a comfort level survey. According to the survey, Female students reported feeling more comfortable asking questions and seeking clarification while in the single sex group as opposed to the mixed gender group. However, their comfort level did not help them get more answers correct as I had originally thought. Instead, their scores were higher in the mixed gender group. Despite some limitations in the data, the results suggested no significance between females scoring higher in math problem solving by being in a single sex group as opposed to being in a mixed gender group. Also, due to the data from the survey, additional research is needed to find ways to build not only my female students' confidence in math, but in male students as well, since math anxiety can develop in both genders.